Hey everybody, this is Shake and Bake from ShakesPub.net, and this little video log I'm doing is on Servarium. Um, this is coming from us from Vostok Gaming out of the Ukraine, and I've been playing this game pretty much since it was, I don't know if they called it closed beta back then, but it was way, way, way before it was on Steam. It cost you 10 bucks to get into it, and it was a long time ago. Uh, I'm thinking like a couple years, I think. And I've played this game off and on over the years and uh, kind of watch the updates. And so I thought I would do this video because I'm gonna do a prediction. I think there's some things coming that are gonna make people happy. And this is, I, I have no affiliation with Vostok Gaming, so this is not insider information. I mean, I do do some voice work for them, but um, this is not from them. This is just my own gaming, gamer prediction, right? So what you're looking at now is 0 0.40 is coming and hopefully soon. But this update is, uh, and the other thing I'm going to show you, I think are leading to something. And this update is really the big focus is user interface. They got a couple screens here where they talk about where they're basically doing a major overhaul on the user interface in the game. Uh, you know, they say, you know, obviously it's going to be a learning curve for people when they get in here, um, but it's going to be totally different. They think it's going to be better. Time will tell. It looks pretty cool from the screenshots that I can tell. Uh, in here, they also talk about other things that are coming, uh, like weapons modules. And what's going to happen with this is basically when four, uh, 0 0.40 comes out, uh, when you have certain weapons, it's not going to be for all the weapons, and it'll be different based on what weapon, weapon it is. But uh, basically, starting from zero, uh, the number of kills you get on that weapon will start to unlock these modules for the weapon. And I'm not going to again go into all the detail right now. You can read this stuff, uh, but it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, you know, from sighting, uh, you know, scopes, different scopes, laser uh, sights here on the side, um, suppressors, all are going to affect how the weapon handles. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. One of the things that they've really gotten their ch uh, chops busted on is weapons balancing. And these guys, I, you can see from the updates, are working hard to try to get that sweet spot. Uh, but, you know, again, this change was going to change weapons again, basically. And I'm sure they're going to have to do some adjustments probably over time once they look at the data and get feedback from the community. So that's interesting to see. Uh, they look pretty cool. They're, one thing about the uh, with Cerverium is the skins, in my opinion, um, the textures in this game, whether it's the character or the weapons, look amazing. Um, the other thing they're doing, this is really now, I'm going to tell you where this is going, I think, is lower NPCs. And the same with this attachment part, but lower NPCs, they're doing this new render that's supposed to give better performance. So I'm going to show you this video. It's really gotten um, a positive response from the community. And basically what they're trying to do is, and this is a, a thing that a lot of FPS games struggle with, is, is, you know, basically if you start to set the game to lower settings, um, and the draw distance, draw distance is impacted, uh, less foliage, you know, concealment, then the, the player may have an advantage because they basically, you're hiding behind a bush. They don't see the bush and they see you and you think they don't. Um, but also the uh, people are struggling with FPS issues and things like that. So I'm going to show you this video they did, which is really, really getting a positive response here. Um, but basically trying to maintain that quality. All right, here we go. I love this song. I got to get this. It's like epic. It's, it's totally like stalker severium. All right, here we go. Right side is work in progress renderer. Left side is severium 0.348. And they do show, I believe here, FPS difference. FPS 25, FPS 8. Um, big, big, big difference. But you can see, though, you can still see that, that the foliage, the ground cover is thick, looks awesome. But you're going to get this huge increase, significant uh, FPS increase in, in an unfinished game. So that looks very, very promising. And I think people are going to be excited about that. So I'll put the link to the video. You guys can check that out on your own. Um, the other thing, economic systems, 
economics system. They're working on that as well. Um, I think they're talking about like um, expendables, bullets and things like that. They're going to change how that works. Uh, I guess there were some complaints about silver, how you couldn't earn enough silver then to buy things in game. And I think what they're finding is people are using the silver to run basically mods on their weapons and, and you know, higher caliber bullets, which costs a lot more. Uh, so it looks like they're going to do something um, right here. It says, we believe it's wrong to penalize you for playing actively and using consumables. So we have decided not to take into account the number of used cartridges and supplies when calculating the cost of playing in a battle. But then it says ammo and supplies will ha still have a price of usage, which will be added to the total cost of participation in battle. So not sure. It almost like sounds like they're contradicting the, the sentence contradict one another but we'll see how that plays out um once this goes live uh but i'm gonna tell you where i get and i think this is going the big thing again is user interface well weapons modules uh improving performance especially for lower npcs and then this economic economic system um then there's one more thing this image comes out right from severium showing snow right check it out so we got this image with this guy with the sweet mohawk. Snow is showing. Uh, and the question on the tweet was something like, something like snow, like question mark. So uh, two things, I think maybe snow is coming to PVP right now that's in game in 0.40. But this also could be a hint at something else, which I'm gonna say right here in a minute. Um, on their Facebook page, uh, actually in Facebook, they have a group page, which I've joined. Uh, if you haven't, I would check that out because there's a lot of stuff that comes out on there. Um, but the big thing I want to say, I think all of this, the UI, the weapons modules, the increased performance, uh, the economic system, and this snow teaser, all of it's leading up to one thing, and that is what everybody's craving and what everybody gives Severum such a hard time about. Vostok Gaming is free play mode, basically PVE slash PVP, a sandbox mode that the stalker fans are dying for. Um, and and you see a lot of anger around that with this game. And I kind of feel bad for, for Severian for that. Um, but what they're saying is when 0 0.40 is released, then they're gonna talk about free play sandbox mode. Everybody's excited about that. I'm excited about that. And I think all of this stuff here I'm showing you, I think this is getting the game in alignment for that free play mode better user interface, um, better performance. This, uh, the reason I say that the weapons module thing is, I think in the free play mode, you will start out with maybe a basic weapon. And as you roam the wasteland, the apocalyptic wasteland, you're gonna find things out there or craft these modules for your weapons. That's why I think they're getting it in now. That is my prediction. And I think it's gonna be soon. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about 0 0.40, your thoughts about do you think this is uh, leading to that uh, sandbox mode? And, uh, and I will say they have said this in the forums and uh, on their Facebook page. They will talk about the sandbox mode, free play mode, once 0 0.40 comes out. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do in my channel is I'm going to pick up some more coverage of this game and do some gameplay video, especially when 0 0.40 comes out. So stay tuned for that. Cheers, peace, guys. Thanks for subs. Thanks for likes. Look forward to your comments, and I'll see you in the game.